Hey there, I'm Joe Weems. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you about NGConf 2023 happening in Salt Lake City, Utah on June 14th and 15th. Head over to ngconf.org to check out the speakers, check out the talks, and to get your ticket before they all sell out. We'll see you there. today a quick context about host context. So let's get right into it. When I say host context, who is this host that I speak of? Some late night TV show host? Morning show host? Or NGConf hosts? Well, some might say an even bigger question is, who am I? Hi, I'm Ankita. I've been living in Austin, Texas for almost three years, which is the same amount of years I have been working for Dell SecureWorks as a front-end engineer. So if you're interested in knowing more about any of those, Austin, Dell SecureWorks, or my experience with either, go find me on Twitter or here in person at ngconf. Right now, I'm here at ngconf, just like y'all, taking notes frivolously, because clearly there are so many amazing ways you can improve your Angular components growth structure. My favorite part about Angular components is that if architected right, they can be so versatile. For example, you can create a simple dumb presentational component and use it the way you want, style it the way you want to present the data the way you want. Now, depending on the type of view encapsulation mode applied to a component, there are different ways to style an Angular component. The view encapsulation emulated option emulates the shadow DOM behavior, tricking the browser to think that those Angular components are web components. This allows us to use the CSS selectors associated with web components. The tree node representation that we have here is that of a shadow DOM, which is similar to what the emulated mode emulates behind the scene for you. Notice the node tagged shadow root. This is essentially our host or our Angular component. The child nodes associated with it are either the DOM elements of the component or our child components, which are being used inside the component. Either way, the browser parses the tree structure generated by Angular components in emulated mode, just as it parses the shadow DOM web components. Angular's powerful view encapsulation mode emulated, which is also the default mode, emulates the Shadow DOM API so flawlessly that it empowers us to target the actual DOM element of our Angular component and style it using the pseudo selector host. Now host context is another CSS pseudo selector that we can use. The biggest advantage of this emulation strategy by Angular is that we are able to use the CSS selectors designed for the Shadow DOM API consistently across all browsers. Now, as of this recording, Firefox and Safari have no plans for supporting host context pseudo selector in the near future by default. But that is only for web components. And that has never been or would never be a problem for Angular components because of the emulated encapsulation option. Let's look at some examples now. One common requirement is to modify certain aspects of a component based on its parent. In this example, our host here, the card component, can have different contexts. That is, the class that gets assigned based on the value of group.value. To use host context, we always need to specify the parent selector. That is, we need to provide the context in which our host is in. Inside the styles of the host here, we are able to modify how the content gets displaced based on whether we are displaying it in a row layout versus a column layout. So as you can see in this example, favorite superpowers, that content gets hidden based on the context in which the card lives in. Oftentimes, we end up using the deprecated ng-deep selector in the parent component for those scenarios, whereas we can just use host context in the child component. Another popular use case for host context is to theme Angular components. 
Just pass in the theme class name and write your color updates that should be applied for that theme in it. In the example that I have here, I am overriding the background co color of the cart component for the dark theme by passing in the CSS selector for the dark theme. As you can notice, the dark theme that gets applied at the root level in return changes the background color of the cart component because of the context that gets sent here. That's all folks. I hope you all now have a better understanding of this magical pseudo selector that is the host context and how well it works for styling Angular components. You can check out the code examples by scanning this QR code for the GitHub repo. You can also view the slides by scanning this QR code right here. Okay, thanks, bye.